how to generate, format, and add color to your Minecraft server's message of the day, or MOTD. Before I take you through the process of generating your Minecraft server's message of the day, I'm just going to show you how the current default untouched message of the day of your Minecraft server currently looks like. So as you can see, I have my Minecraft server client open here and my server is currently running in my CMD terminal window here on my local computer. Going back to the Minecraft client here, I'm just going to left click on multiplayer here and then left click on add server. The server name, I'm going to be calling it Websplaining, which is my YouTube channel name. For the server address, because my server is hosted on my local computer, all I need to put in here is the number zero or the two words together, local host. If you're hosting your server on an online server host provider, then put in the IP address of that server that you're hosting your Minecraft server on. So for me again, guys, I'm just going to go with the number zero here and then left click on done. Once done, your Minecraft client will ping your Minecraft server. And as you can see, we have a strong connection here with zero out of 20 players connected. And underneath my server name here, you can see my server server's current message of the day, which currently says a Minecraft server, which is the server default message of the day. So let's begin the process of generating a custom message of the day and setting it up on our Minecraft server. The very first thing you need to do is stop your server if it is currently running. So I'm just going to open back up my CMD terminal window here and type the word stop. Once you've typed the word stop, hit enter and your Minecraft server will stop immediately. The next thing I'm going to do here is minimize my Minecraft server client. Next, open up a browser of your choice. For me, it's the Brave browser and navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash tools dot fade host dot com slash MOTD dash generator. And this should take you to Fade Hosts MOTD generator for your Minecraft server. This is my preferred website of choice to generate a Minecraft server message of the day. I'll also include two more sources to generate a message of the day for your Minecraft server in the video description below. One of the alternatives will be mctools.org and lastly, minecraft.tools. Both will be in the video description. Going back to Fade Host MOT Generator, this is what we're going to be using today for this video demonstration. So at the very top here, it says, type in your MOTD, then highlight sections of the text and choose the formatting you require. So as you can see, there is a text box here, and this will be where you customize your Minecraft server's message of the day. Some of the customization options that you have here is bold, italics, strike through, underline, remove formatting, obfuscated or magic text, and text color. So if I just left click on text color here, you can see all the colors that you're able to change the text color to. And at the very bottom here, you can see in-game preview here, which will show you a quick preview of your custom message of the day before you set this message of the day on your own personal Minecraft server. To get the in-game preview to display, you'll need to left click on generate once you have customized your Minecraft message of the day. So let's go about doing that now. So I'm just going to delete all the custom text currently in this text box here and add my own. I'm also going to be going with two lines. So on my first line, I'm just going to have a welcome message. So it's going to say, welcome to the websplaining Minecraft server. And I'm going to hit enter to go on to the next line here. And on this line, I'm going to describe what type of server this is. So I'm going to type a vanilla survival server. Once you've typed your custom Minecraft message of the day, it's time to format it. So at the top line here, I'm going to underline all the text. So I'm simply going to highlight the first line here and then left click on underline. Our text will now be underlined. For the second line here, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to select the formatting of italic. Great, so I'm happy with that. The next thing I'm going to do is add a bit of color. So for the top line here, I'm going to be going with a cyan color here. So again, I'm going to highlight the top line here, left click on the text color here and change it to cyan. For the bottom line here, I'm going to highlight it and change it to pink. And lastly, I'm going to make one more color adjustment here. I'm going to highlight the word websplaining, 
change its text color to green just to make it stand out here. Once you're happy with your message of the day, left click on generate and you should see a nice in-game preview here at the very bottom of your custom Minecraft message of the day before you set this for your server. I'm pretty happy with that guys. So to set this custom generated MOTD as our server message of the day, we'll need to do the following. So as you can see, Fadehost gives us an instruction here on how to do this. So it says, put the MOTD code in your server.properties file in MOTD equals and your MOTD code will be shown here after pressing the generate button here. So as you can see from here to here is my custom code for the MOTD that I have just generated. To copy it, simply left click on the copy icon here and your MOTD code will be copied to your clipboard. Once done guys, you can close out of your browser as you no longer need your MOTD generator anymore. Next, find the folder which contains your Minecraft server files. For me, it's very easy to find. It's on my desktop here in a folder called letsplayvanilla.com. I'm just going to double click on this folder to open it. Once you're in the folder which hosts your Minecraft server files, find the server.properties file. So as you can see, it's right here for me. I'm just going to double click on it. And because I'm hosting my Minecraft server on Windows, Windows will ask me, how do you want to open this file? What we're going to be selecting is Notepad. If you're on a different operating system, choose the proprietary text editor for that operating system. For Windows, the text editor to edit your server.properties file is Notepad. So before I select Notepad, I'm just going to uncheck mark, always use this app to open .properties file. So I'm going to uncheck mark this, left click on Notepad, and then left click on OK. Once done, your server.properties file will open in text format. I'm just going to maximize this window here. Now what we need to do is find where it says MOTD equals. It should be right at the bottom of your server.properties file. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down here to the very bottom. And the third line from the very bottom here, it says MOTD equals a Minecraft server, which is the current default message of the day for our Minecraft server. All you need to do now to set your custom Minecraft message of the day is to delete a Minecraft server here. So I'm just going to delete that and right click and paste to paste in the code for your custom message of the day that you have just generated. Once you have done that guys, simply navigate to the top left hand corner here to where it says file and left click on save to save the changes you have just made to your server.properties file. Once you have done that, you can safely close out of your server.properties. All that's left to do now guys is to start back up your Minecraft server. For me again, because I'm on Windows, it's quite easy. All I need to do is double click on my batch file that I have created. If you're hosting your server on a Linux operating system, what you'll need to do is execute the server start command code to start your server. So all I'm going to do guys is double click on the Minecraft start command here, which is my Windows batch file. Once done, the CMD terminal window will open and our Minecraft server will begin to start. I'll be back with you guys once my Minecraft server has started. And there we go guys, our Minecraft server has now started and is running. All that's left to do now is to open back up our Minecraft client and go back to the multiplayer server selection page. So as you can see, we have our web explaining Minecraft server listed here and it currently has the previous default message of the day, which says a Minecraft server. To display the current and new custom generated message of the day that we have set on our Minecraft server, all you need to do is left click on the refresh button here. Once you've done that, your custom generated message of the day for your Minecraft server will be immediately displayed. So as you can see, it now says, welcome to the web explaining Minecraft server, a vanilla survival server with the correct formatting that we have set. And all that's left to do now, guys, is to join your Minecraft server. And with that, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to generate, format, and add color to your Minecraft server's message of the day, or MOTD. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so